Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at another brand new addition to the Forza series, which is this Ford Mustang SVT Cobra from 2003. To get hold of this latest addition to the series, all you have to do is complete 20 points of this week's festival playlist, which is the winter season, which I've done by doing the trial, the event lab, um, some of the seasonal championships, and of course the monthly rivals at the beginning of the series. Immediately when I drove this Mustang here in Horizon 5, I was literally deafened by the superchargers, so presumably SVT stands for Supercharged Vehicle of Terror. I was also pleasantly surprised by, well, how well it went, the power of the thing, um, and, more surprisingly, how it actually went around corners and didn't immediately head for the nearest crowd. So going into this video, I have to admit, I was a little bit sceptical about this Mustang and not terribly excited about it. It's not my favourite era of Mustangs, I really like the classics and I quite like some of the really modern Mustangs, but the models in between, particularly this kind of 90s and 2000 era, I've always just found them a bit meh. They're just not exciting to me. Um, and the other thing is, we have some very similar models in this game and previous Horizon games. To begin with, when this was first announced, I didn't actually think it was new. I thought it was returning from Horizon 3, but it turns out we had the 1995 model in Horizon 3 and a 2003 in this game. They do, though, visually at least, look very similar. So to me, they kind of felt like um, they were pretty much the same car. And in this game, we also have the SVT Cobra R from... 2000, which I know is a bit of a different car, um, but it produces very similar power and weighs a similar amount whilst being a very similar PI rating here in-game. This particular one, the new one, the 2003 Mustang SVT Cobra, produces 390 horsepower from a 4.6 litre V8 motor, um, whilst weighing a, well, quite big 1,696 kilos, but to be fair, it is a big old muscle car, it's not really supposed to be light. That puts it in B-Class at 639 here in Forza Horizon 5, which is slightly lower than the SVT Cobra R, which sits at 648. Luckily, as well as this rather dull, but actually quite nice grey, um, there are some interesting manufacturer colours. There is the one that's on it, which you're given the car in, there's black, um, there's blue, which I think looks stunning, um, red and yellow, which being Horizon looks very washed out. So I'm going to go for the absolutely lovely blue. As well as the rather nice selection of colours, there are also some really cool visual mods for this Mustang, which I think kind of redeems um, its, well, rather boringness that I thought going into this. Um, because we have... Celine parts and that, but let's not talk about that. So we have a Celine front bumper. We then have a Ford optional rear wing, which I think is actually smaller. And a Celine picnic table, which I'm definitely going to put on. We also have that, which we don't speak of, and a wing delete. And to continue the kit, let's put the Celine bumper on, which changes that Cobra text to Celine and also gives you lots of venti bits and gets rid of those silly orange reflectors. Then the side skirts. I'm not quite sure about what it's done to the air vent there, but the, the skirt itself looks very, very cool. And yes, that is definitely necessary. As well as that, it has millions and millions of engine swaps. It has a V8, of course, a V8 diesel, if for some reason you want a diesel Mustang. There's also a 7.7 .7 litre V12, an 8.4 V10, a 5.2 V8, a racing 7.2 V8, and a V6 twin turbo. You can, of course, also all-wheel drive swap it, but why would you do that to a Mustang? And you can twin turbo it if you want to ruin the supercharger-iness of it. It also has all of the usual tyre compounds, as you'd expect, tyre widths, um, tyre track widths, which always make it look slightly nicer, but also we have um, the profile sizes, which we don't often get on cars, so that's kind of interesting to see, potentially aimed at drag racing this thing, and apart from that you have your usual drivetrain options, platform handling options, and 
engine options. Um, it doesn't quite get to a thousand horsepower the standard engine, it gets to just over 800. And with full weight reduction, you can get weight down to 1375 kilos, which isn't too bad. And with that, I went and applied this A class um, U Grundy tune with the Celine body kit equipped, and we headed into some open racing. But we've got to do the Mustang proud and try and beat the Bone Shaker. Oh, crud. It breaks Ours, quite well. Ours 4 has four the arrow. It does, that is quite horrible. The Mustang is good so far. He's dead. The Mustang is winning. I'm going to download your Mustang tune. And this, the, X, the XESV8 in this game is the American spec, then the one in the crew. Two oh no! No! It's the European spec. On the final corner! This is where I flipped my box all the other months. Yeah, you're in Monaro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A class thousand horsepower Monaro. I've been killed by the bone shaker. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually enjoying playing our sport again. I've been murdered by the bone shaker. The Corvette is just... building. Yeah. Oh! Full on. <laughs> that aged well. Yeah, super tree. That's it, Take out the bone shaker. <laughs> go petrol, go! Go petrol! Stop you petrol. I am still there. Oh. He's off-roading. No way he's making that corner from that angle. You know what your Mustang reminds me of? You remember a snot rod or hot rod from Cars, the first movie? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the Big, uh, Sorry, Fury. That's fine. I'm gonna hit the wall. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Super Tree. No, not Super Tree. That's oh, okay. It was the older Mustang. Sorry, older Mustang. W can't ready. Here. Oh no! Why am I following? Oh, okay. like how did you not get a slowdown? I did. I don't know. No, it was on about oh, no. the same wall in the same place. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm Super Tree! I'm never going to overtake. Get that position. I'm, I'm topped out. I'm topped out. I'm topped out. 160. That's the only thing about this. It just it tops out so easily. Oh, there goes Super Tree in the handling car. They are very good handling cars. To be fair. But they still are. This bone shaker is stock, mind I remind you. It's still a bone shaker. Yes, that just shows you how broken it is. Ah! I, I, I'm backing out, I'm backing out. Me and Super Tree have understeer problems. You become the convoy leader. Metro has oversteer problems. As does Jay. Uh, it's just, they, just the right balance of understeer and oversteer. So eventually we found that there wasn't really enough of us still in the lobby um, to make it worthwhile racing um, in A-Class anymore, but overall I was still pleasantly surprised by how decent um, this was at racing in A-Class. Initially going into this, given the PI of the vehicle, I thought it would be more likely a B-Class car, um, but there weren't any tunes that really stood out to me in B-Class, so we went for A-Class, and some of the guys wanted to run their own sets of upgrades, which had taken the car up to the top of A-Class. So that's the way we went, and yeah, it was pretty decent. Um, it wasn't the most full lobby um, anywhere throughout our racing, and it gradually reduced in numbers as we went, but it was beating cars like the Bone Shaker, and I had some really great races um, with some Audis um, throughout some of that first adventure. Admittedly, the Bone Shaker wasn't driven by the most experienced player, and the Audi probably isn't the best car in the class, um, 
But still, I had some fun races in this Mustang, so I would like to keep this tune applied and use it for Horizon Open in the future. And that is going to do it for a very first look at the 2003 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra here on Forza Horizon 5. Like I say, going into this I was a little bit sceptical, I kind of wondered why they had bothered adding this version, when they could have much more easily actually brought back the, the model from Horizon 3, and when it was so similar, well, visually, to, to me it was a similar era Mustang to the, the other Cobra from 2000 that we already have in the game, so I wasn't too sure about it. Even driving it stock though, I was starting to appreciate it a bit more, despite not particularly liking this era of Mustangs. It drove a lot better than I thought it would and had a good amount of power, which I wasn't really expecting to feel from this era of muscle cars. And the fact it has these really cool Celine parts, I think, just is the icing on the cake, basically. And then the fact it's also half decent in A-Class, um, and it'll be something that I actually use um, going forwards. Um, I think it's a worthwhile addition to the game, and my mind's been changed. I actually really enjoyed this thing. Um, as ever, do let me know your thoughts on this brand new addition to Forza Horizon 5, but for today's video that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next one very soon. Thank you.